And sticking with the circulatory system, uh, what could cause the circulatory system to fail? Could be failure of the heart, blood and fluid loss internally and externally, poor circulation, fall in blood pressure, lack of oxygen in the blood or hypoxia. So we get different types of shock. Uh, shock is best described as circulatory failure or collapse when the arterial blood pressure is too low to provide the adequate blood supply to the tissues. This can be brought on by a severe loss of blood from internal and external bleeding or from a loss of bodily fluid due to burns or excessive vomiting and diarrhea. And this is called hypovolemic shock. The next one, a reduced blood supply or activity of the heart, as with a heart attack or coronary thrombosis, is called a cardiogenic shock. A widespread dilation of the veins with insufficient blood to fill them, which can be brought on by bacterial chemical toxins, is called a toxic shock. Injury to the spinal cord or severe head trauma that damages the nerves controlling circulation and the changes in blood pressure is a neurogenic shock. And there's also emotional shock, which is an overstimulation of the vagus nerve, which can be caused by pain, fright and emotional distress. With this type of shock, the blood pressure is lowered. The pulse rate will be slow, as in fainting. So how do we recognise shock? A rapid, weak pulse. Pale, blue-grey, cold, clammy skin. Nausea and thirst. Rapid, shallow breathing and may become unconscious. So what is the treatment for shock? You need to treat the cause of shock. So what's causing it? Try to stop that if it's uh, loss of blood from a, a wound, for example. Lay the casualty down. Raise and support the legs. Loosen any tight clothing. Keep the casualty warm. Dial 999 or 112. And don't give them any food or drink. Heart attack recognition, there is usually a central chest pain, pain down the left arm possibly, breathlessness, a rapid or irregular pulse, rapid breathing and shortness of breath, pale blue-grey cold and clammy skin, nausea and vomiting. And what is the treatment for heart attack? Make the casualty comfortable and warm. Position the casualty in the half-sitting position. Monitor the casualty's breathing. Call 999 or 112. Calm and reassure the casualty. If casualty becomes unconscious, carry out the procedure for basic, like, basic life saving. And anaphylactic shock, how do you recognise it? It's a major allergic reaction to the body. Uh, you'll get uh, the casual of anxiety, red blotchy skin, swelling of the face and neck, a rapid pulse, and swelling of the mouth and tongue. And the treatment for an anaphylactic shock, call emergency services, sit the casualty up if conscious, encourage the casualty to use medication if available, be prepared to open the airway and resuscitate, Monitor the casualties airway and breathing. What condition would a casualty be suffering from when displaying the following signs and symptoms? Pale, cold, clammy skin, rapid weakening pulse, rapid, shallow breathing. Is it A, shock, B, stroke, C, fainting, or D, choking? Okay, if I want to pause the video and decide I'm going to see the right answer. Um, we'll go for shock. And shock is the correct answer. The main danger with anaphylactic shock is A. Internal bleeding B. Fainting C. Constriction of the airway or D. Vomiting Again, which one do you think? Uh, pause the video if you want. Is the internal bleeding Fainting, vomiting, or constriction of the airway. What's the main danger from an anaphylactic shock?
What signs and symptoms could indicate that a casualty is suffering from a heart attack? Is it A, high temperature, pains down the arms, dizziness, nausea? B, pains in the chest, severe headache, dribbling, nausea? C, pains in the chest, arms, shortness of breath, feeling of indigestion? Or D, pains in the chest and legs, aggressive behaviour? Okay, which one do you think it is this time? You want to pause the video? Or write on a piece of paper or shout the answer out. Is it A, B, C or D? Signs and symptoms that they possibly suffer from a heart attack. Let's go for... Yes. What is the best position for someone to be in who has suffered a heart attack? Is it A, lying down with legs raised? B, recovery position? C, lying down with head raised? Or D, half sitting position with head back and under the knee support. So what's the best position for someone to be in who has suffered a heart attack? A, B, C or D. If you can remember going back to the video which they showed the first time the heart attack, it was 